I met Chris when I started um, my own career in psychology and we worked together in Geelong for three years or so and formed a very strong friendship. If you have an interest in any or all of philosophy, science, um, well-being, spirituality and creativity, I expect the book will be a stimulus to your thinking and open up many questions to pursue and very much will enhance your awareness of the life-giving energy of surprise, curiosity and discovery, that is, expanded conscious awareness. The process of expanding awareness is very relevant to our experience of purpose and well-being. And while this book is launched today, uh, it represents for Chris the sum of thought, imagining, research, clinical practice and collaboration with others of like mind over four decades. So Chris, well done. Well, thanks so much, Rod, and it's, you, you'll see how wonderful it is to be able to have friendships that you can develop through your career. And those friendships are as wonderful as any other aspect of working in a particular field. And um, so thank you so much, Rod, and, and your thoughtfulness and reflection and, and being able to offer a different opinion but be so open to listening to others is something I greatly appreciate in our friendship. Thank you very much. These are some of my observations on synchronicity. One is that there are a number of different common types of synchronicity. Number synchronicity, like seeing 11-11 regularly on a clock. How many of you have things like that happen? Like seeing numbers that come up regularly kind of thing. Another is thinking of someone that you haven't seen for a long time and you suddenly run into them soon afterwards. That's called propinquity. How many of you have that kind of experience? It adds to your sense of connection with them. It's an affirmation often. Often people feel they experience more synchronicity when you feel you're on the right track in life. I see it like a tick from the universe that you're on the right track. It can give us a sense of some higher organising force in the universe. Then it's a path to spirituality with all the benefits that spirituality has, acknowledging a sacred dimension in life. And finally, I think it helps us use and develop our intuition. It helps us focus on our intuition in terms of how we interpret these events rather than an over-focus on rationality. Positive psychology has shown that in terms of improving well-being, anything that improves our PERMA, P-E-R-M-A, will improve our well-being. Uh, so positive affect or positive emotion is the P. E is engagement with roles or things that we're doing. Uh, R is relationships. M is personal meaning and A is achievement. Now we understand a lot in mental health about the interaction of mind and body, but there's not so much on mind, body and soul. So there's something else that's left out, a spiritual dimension. That is gradually changing, and it's partly changing based on research. Now it's understood that when people believe in a spiritual dimension in life, they tend to live longer, recover better from illness, less prone to depression, recover better from depression. It even slows cellular ageing. So I think synchronicity is a window to spirituality. That's one of the ways it's very helpful. Synchronicity is a path to PERMA, and there's a lot of health evidence these days that spirituality and bolstering PERMA is good for our physical and mental health. What are some practical steps that we can use? And Rod described some of them. The notion of be open to being open. Notice what you notice. What stands out? Use your intuition. If something resonates, act on it. That's the notion of combining synchronicity with kairos. Kairos is acting swiftly to make the most of the opportunity. And so thank you so much for though all of you have supported me so much in the past, including uh, being prepared to tell your stories of synchronicity, because that's what it's about. It helps it be more normal, less weird, more appreciated. So thank you. I look forward to this next bit.